Dad, if you're the 49ers, yeah. if you're Kyle Shanahan, if you're the whole team at one time, woke up and had a metamorphosis, how would you approach these next two weeks? Could we talk a little about if I'm the 49ers? Yes. Just for a minute. I know it's a slow start, everybody, but I, it kills me. The worst announcers are, are the football announcers. Yes. Baseball announcers, believe me, are better. And the football announcers, every cliche, I want to go, they drive me nuts. And a lot of times I say, if I'm Bill Belichick or if I'm the Patriots, this yeah. is what I do. You're not Bill Belichick. You're not the Patriots. So when people say, if I'm the 49ers, I rest my players this week. It's like I woke up one morning, and you're right, a metamorphosis. It's a story by uh, Franz Kafka. Uh, Gregor Samsa wakes up. He's a bug. I wake up. I'm the 49ers. I got all these 49er things on me. No. So we're not going to say it that way. I'm going to say this is what Lowell thinks the 49ers should do because Lowell is not the 49ers. Rest the hell out of your players. Mm -hmm. Rest them. They're playing a game against the Rams, and it may have minimal implications for the Rams. It has zero implications for the Niners. They owe the Rams nothing. They owe the rest of the league nothing. They owe their team everything. So clearly they're not going to play McCaffrey. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't play Trent Williams. Um, mm -hmm. I would make this a big Ronnie Bell game. Listen, oh. I wouldn't even play uh, Purdy. If you play him, you, it, it's like a preseason game. You play, he hands off a few times, and then the next Steve Young comes in. Oh, oh, the next Steve Young. And, and look, wait. seriously, you want to see what he has. He hasn't had a chance. So this is a perfect opportunity for him to sort of get some action, Sam Darnold. It, it should be that kind of game. Um, I, I'm glad I wouldn't have to write about it because there'd be nothing to write about. And every and the issue is, well, if you don't play him, will there be rust? They're going to have two more weeks off anyway. If there's going to be rust, which well, let's not rust rest. the rust topic yet. We're going to talk about the rust. Oh, we're going to. I, I rust. I rush oh the rust. Good. Rust. You rust the rust. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can you ever forgive me? Yeah, I'll forgive you. So I think what's interesting about this game is that the Rams don't have much to play for either. They're, they've are they clinched a playoff berth. They could either be the sixth or the seventh seed. And I don't know that there's much of a difference. One way they would have to play Detroit. One way they would have to play Dallas. I mean, what's the difference? So the Niners and the Rams may approach it the same way. Kyle and Sean McVay may talk to each other and be like, let's play our starters for a quarter. And then we'll both take our starters out at the same time. Let's try to make sure no one gets hurt. If it's, it feels like it's going to be a preseason game. They could also say no blitzing. No blitzing. They could script things. Like, I want to work on certain things. You want to work on certain things. I don't. Right. The outcome doesn't matter at all. It could be really interesting. And we could. I'm, we're going to talk about the Sam Darnold experience, too. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay. All right. So we're of agreement. They should rest the significant players and not risk any injury. Yeah. Uh, don't show much. Don't put much on film. If, if I'm the 49ers, I'm going real vanilla here, and I'm not putting anything on film because I, I don't want to expose my, the, my good stuff before the playoffs if I'm the 49ers. If you're not the 49ers, will you ever grow into being the 49ers? One day I hope that I wake up and I'm everyone in the organization at the same time. <laughs> There'd be a lot of buzzing in your head. It'd be tough, but I'm trying to find a way to make it work. Okay, this all right. It's going to be tough the next two weeks. It's not going to be that much to talk about. We have an exhibition game coming up where we get to watch Ronnie Bell and Sam Darnold. And then we have a week off where we get to watch other teams. That'll be interesting watching other teams. Absolutely. I like watching other teams because it gives you a sense of who the Niners might play and the quality of the rest of the league, which I would have to agree with Tom Brady on this is fairly mediocre. Yeah. Although after watching college football yesterday, it gives me a new appreciation for the NFL. Yeah, here's the thing. I never watch college football. I don't like college sports, and I hated to cover it. But yesterday, we, uh, Iggy and I were just sort of hanging around, and we watched a little bit of each of those games. I have a nephew who went to Michigan. I have a nephew who went to Texas, and they're big fans. So we were watching and, and thinking. I have to say, pro football is a lot better than college football. The guys can't pass the ball. They're ordinary plays they can't make. It's like whoa, what, what is the big deal about this? And they're calling, I love it, Iggy, the Rose Bowl is a semifinal. When yeah. did the Rose Bowl? The Rose Bowl is the Rose Bowl. Now it's a semifinal? 
I hate college football. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Boat Swain Boogie 03 says, Happy New Year to both of you. $50 donation. Thank you, man. Hope all the best for your family this 2024. My first live listen in a long time. Looking forward to a great show. We got you. Oh, now we got the pressure. We got pressure. Matt McEwen, member for five months. Thank you so much. Brother Bob says, Lowell equals great. Grant equals real good. Larry equals fraud. PP? Purdy's pimp. Oh, my goodness. I, I, oh my goodness. I missed that. Serenity says, need to send you money so you guys can turn up your heat. Bay must be chilly. It's very cold. It's very cold. Fish and Chip says, Kyle will probably want Grant rested for three weeks. <laughs> I don't want to be rusty. I gotta, control, I yeah. I got to stay in midseason form. Matt McEwen says, hope you guys had a great new year. Got to run, LOL. Oh, see you, Matt. Have a good one. 